I'm trying to figure out what happened. I sat here, made a beautiful video, a wonderful message about the situation of Anthony Commodore defending a guilty person, a person who went into his office and admitted guilt. And those of us who are lay people and who have read enough know that an attorney isn't supposed to rep well you can represent a person and you should always be an advocate but if that person came to you and said i'm guilty and then you go before the court and you get witnesses to lie yourself a line you're committing perjury uh, miss anthony Com Com commodore is broke is very broke is desperate and that's why he has taken this case i would like to address this matter to the Chief Justice and to the other senior members of the OECS Judiciary and to make you aware that we have information. We have first-hand information that this man went into the man's office and told him that he was guilty, told him that he was guilty, and yet he's standing before the court and he is committing perjury by pretending and trying to make an argument. Now, what we were taught is that when you commit a crime and you go before and see your attorney, you never tell the attorney you're guilty. You tell the attorney, you give them a story. You give them a story. And this man came in and told Anthony Com Commodore is broke, he's desperate. He'll take anything that he can get, including providing services for sex. So we are asking you, the members of the jury, we are telling you, the presiding judge, that this man admitted guilt to his defense attorney. And we're asking the members of the jury to return a verdict of guilty. And not only must you return guilty, but that man needs to be executed. Otherwise, the island of Dominica is going to descend in chaos because Judge Stevenson been given murderers or alleged murderers bail and then uh, relatives been going out and taking them out because they cannot trust the legal system and we know about the legal system we're dealing with the same situation here in the united states of america where my wife was killed seven years ago and the man who killed her is walking around and he think everything is okay but everything is not okay so we wanted to reach out to you before this day is over today is the first of november <laughs> it is all saints day and today is the day we spent remembering all of our ancestors and particularly my wife mimi and i asked her she knows about justice she knows about injustice i asked her to help us to help the family of this murdered young woman that she they would have a guilty verdict and they would have justice for their loss may god be with you may the spirit of our ancestors be with each and every one of you and continue to protect you and i in the name of the lord and in the name of mimi i say to you that anthony commodore must lose this case otherwise we're going for chaos otherwise we're going for chaos and on this the day of the dead i peter emmanuel i say to you that even anthony commodore himself uh who is desperate his career is most likely almost over and that can occur in many many different ways May the peace and the blessings of all of our ancestors be with you and have a good day, a great week. Oh, and one last thing. If you know somebody in the United States, if you got friends, you all do. Please call them if they have their citizenship and tell them we are voting for Trump again. We must get Trump reelected. I bless you as always, and I'll see you soon.